More Singaporeans are turning to short-term money market instruments like treasury bills or T-bills to keep up with inflation. Some local banks say investor interest in these assets has more than tripled in the past three months. Now, this has led to T-bills being oversubscribed, and only about half of the applicants are getting their desired allocation, as Mich Michelle Tio reports. Long queues at Singapore's local banks are becoming more common in recent months. Many of these bank customers are looking to invest in short-term debt securities. These include T-bills, which are issued and guaranteed by the government. The people who are investing into T-bills are typically between 30 to 49 years old. Uh, they make out about two-thirds of the customers who are investing into T-bills in the last few tranches. Uh, average investment ticket size is about 40,000 uh, for the past few issues that we have observed. And we also notice that a lot of them are generally PMATs uh, and people who are more digitally savvy. Yields for the latest six-month tranche are at 3.9%. Such returns are higher than the interest rate of 2.5% for CPF ordinary accounts. Banks say that's why more people are investing in T-bills using their CPF funds. The six-month T-bill application is three times more than the one-year application. So it does kind of show us that investors does have a better perspective of 23, or at least in the latter half. So they are kind of parking the money into a shorter duration, but getting paid at the same time, and then um, exercise the right to A, roll over their money if rates continue to be supportive, or find um, their way into higher risk portfolios, which actually will generate better yields. Analysts say there are economic headwinds, such as slowing global growth ahead in 2023. That's why investors are going into other assets, such as fixed-time deposits or even savings accounts, to help them save money. But if investors want to beat inflation, they'll have to go into other asset classes. So one area is, you know, if we're looking at uh, you know, high-grade investment uh, bonds, uh, we think yields will come down over the course of 2020, uh, 2023. Uh, and then part of that's due to the fact that we do think that recession's coming through. So yes, we're very focused on higher uh, interest rates. Uh, for now, at some point, we think that will pivot uh, in 2023. Applications for T-bills can only be made in person at local bank branches. The three local banks are targeting to launch an online service for T-bill applications in the first quarter of next year. This is in anticipation of more investors keen on applying for T-bills.